a thousand feet in front of it, if that makes sense. It has a blind spot of about a thousand feet. So as you can imagine, a tobo coming through this area, uh, pushing those barges, as this bridge opens up, it can only see a thousand feet ahead of it. Uh, so that's where we run into some difficulties trying to fit it through this narrow opening. Uh, there is something ahead of us that you may be able to see on the other side of that bridge. Uh, a green sign located straight ahead of us, uh, slightly to the right of that swing section, but it's called a day marker. What that is is a navigational device for those toes. So as that toe would be about a thousand feet back from us, uh, it would be pointing the front of the car at that uh, day marker. It has a big flag on it called a jack staff. So line that jack staff up with that green sign we can see up ahead of us. It should give it the angle it needs to fit through the bridge without cramping into anything. Once it gets through the bridge, then it will switch its gaze out to the right side, where once we get through the bridge, we'll see another red and white shaped diamond sign, uh, which is called the Crossy Day Marker. Uh, so basically what those poles are doing is difficult to navigate section to the river such as this if they are zigzagging their way up and down it while staying in between those uh, buoys on the inside to make sure that they have that clearance uh, necessary to not run around. So now we can see that swing section opening. Uh, if anyone did not see that, as we go through it, we'll be closing rather quickly behind us. It is a rather old bridge. They don't like to leave that, uh, that swing section open because it can warp. Uh, so we're closing as quickly as possible.